Hey guys, Adam from Quick to Endure. So I'm going to start off with an old-fashioned tabletop type review. And a uh, rainy day outside today, I feel like getting out there, and I thought that I would do my new Benchmade Volley. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Adam, your knife is in the box. This is a, uh, did that for a specific reason. Benchmade is having a lot of trouble with some Chinese knockoffs recently. So if you get a knife in the mail, or if you're at a, you know, some of these flea market things where you get all kind of knockoff stuff, just be aware what you buy. And if it comes like this, it's most likely a, a genuine Benchmade item. And so I kind of wanted to share that aspect of you. Pop this open. You should have your user and care manual right there. And every Benchmade folder comes in these nifty little bags right here. Inside that, they should also be in a plastic bag. And this one specifically has the access lock mechanism card. So uh, even though I've been carrying this for a week, I just threw this back in the package. I have, my basement is full of little Benchmade boxes like this. So I don't really use them that often. Some people like to keep them in case they ever want to sell them. I probably never sell a knife, so I'll probably keep this and or just toss it, or my wife will toss it when I'm not looking. Anyway, here it is, the Benchmade Volley. This is actually the million and one model number. It is an access lock very similar to the Barrage series, except this one's got these nice milled out G10. It is an assist open, as you guys can see, and it does sport, like I said before, the access lock mechanism. Very nice knife, and actually before I give you all the specs on this, I kind of want to do a compare and contrast with the uh, 5 80 barrage that I've been carrying for a few years now. So a couple key differences is the blade size. The one thing about this, this one is a 3.6 inches long. So this is actually going to be illegal for uh, concealed carry in a lot of states, uh, federal buildings and stuff that, like that. Three and a half inches usually the size that they want to go to. But you know, I carry this around anyway. I can get away with stuff like that. Um, but I, you know, really big fan of this knife. Uh, you know, some of the complaints I always had about it just felt a little chunky in my pocket. Um, the blade shape, kind of like a modified spear point slash drop point. I don't even know how we would, we would, uh, you know, describe that. Osborne design, but great blade. I've had it for a number of years. It's been my primary pocket knife alongside my Zero Tolerance 0350. So just kind of giving you guys the size differences in these blades. You know, one thing about the Zero Tolerance, it, even though it's a forward assist, it does not have a locking mechanism like the other ones. But great blade all the same. This one's kind of my primary pocket knife for work. So, like I said before, one of the biggest changes is the blade length. Um, just a little bit shorter in the blade length. The blade length for this one is a 3.26, so right under that 3.5 mark. But with the exception to the blade length, and of course the material the scales are made out of, it's almost the same knife. I mean, even the shape of the, the, scale, the scales or the handle is very, very similar. It feels very familiar to me. And I'm actually a little bit bigger of the more drop, traditional drop point blade shape in a high grind. And we'll talk about the swedge on there as well here in a few seconds, but very similar in design. So it doesn't feel like I'm transitioning to that much of a different knife. It just has some of the features that I like a little bit met, better. One is the thinness in my pocket so that it's a little bit thinner profile it's hard to really see in the uh in the, the camera here but it feels substantially thinner so we'll just pull that and just talk about the the volley so access lock assisting locking mechanism so you have a lock for the blade once it's ejected and of course you can lock it so it can't eject which is pretty cool the only gripe that i've had about this and i've only had this knife for about a week now I've actually had one or two times where I've had not had the mechanism locked. As I pulled it out of my pocket, I didn't catch into my jeans to eject the blade. Now, some knives are made that way with a hook, so they, they pull out. It wasn't a danger thing, but it was like as I pulled it out, the blade kind of ejected for me. Um, so I just had to watch out on that. I don't know if it was user error, but uh, it wasn't anything that was really substantially, you know, like, oh, no, that's bad. Blade thickness is uh, 0.1 inches. The handle thickness is 0.56. This is a S30 V stainless steel blade. Rockwell hardness about 56 to 60. Total weight is about 4.28 ounces. Closing length, 4.42 inches. And then the overall length of the knife is 7.78. Uh, but very, very happy with this. It's a tip up split arrow clip uh, that you can wear right or left. So for you uh, tip down folks, sorry guys, I prefer my knives tip up. 
You win some, you lose some in that, in that game. Sometimes you get exactly what you want, sometimes you don't. Off of the uh, out-of-the-box sharpness, and I'll just do a small test with you guys. For the out-of-the-box sharpness, I mean, came razor sharp, which is, you know, what kind of what I expect from, uh, from Benchmade. Let's see, uh, here's a knife a little bit more use. Let's see, we're not there. Oh, Adam, you need to sharpen that knife. Let's check out my ZT. Now I'm just getting curious. I just sharpened that one recently. So, great out of the box edge, like I said before. No issue there. Now let's talk about the price point. Price point's gonna be about 160 retail. I believe I bought this at uh, Edgeworks for less than that though, about 136. So, street price on this is gonna lower a little bit. I think it's very uh, economical for the, uh, the amount of knife that you get here. The G10 feels wonderful. Just really great stuff. I mean, it's not as warm as my, my Carta but a lot more traction on it than, uh, than I felt previously with this, this polymer. But the blade length is perfect for me. I like the drop. It's a little bit wider down here, so we have a nice reinforced tip in this little scalloped area on the spine. Now, this spine is not as sharp as this spine right here, so it's not going to throw a spark as good for a ferro rod if you guys are looking for something like that. A lot of people don't like to do that with their folding blades, though, because it does leave it pretty scuffed up and nasty looking. We do have a decent sized lanyard hole. We're gonna make a lanyard for that and fish that through here in the very near future. But all in all, I'm very happy with the knife and uh, the price is right. I'm sure the price point will not probably come down here in the near future. You'll probably see places for it for about 120 or so. I haven't checked like Blade HQ or Knife Ship Free, but I think that this is gonna be a new classic for Benchmade. I think this is taking everything that they were very successful with, with the uh, barrage and the mini barrage. And it's very much at that that midpoint, and I wish I had a mini barrage with me right now, uh, that it fits right in the middle of uh, what I wanted. So, very excited about it, guys, and you'll see more of this. We'll take it out in the field and do a little bit more field tests with it. But I just want to do a quick overview, and of course, the blade comes in the, the satin finish. Also, they have a black. It's always going to come in tactical black. Hey, it's Benchmade, guys. And both the combo edge with the both satin and the black finish. So, uh, you can get it the way you want it, and I'm sure we'll see some gold series and some special upgrades to the uh, the scales in a few years or so, maybe a few months, because this is gonna be one that I think is gonna be flying off the shelves. I mean, hey, it's a million and one. So, great knife, bench made, Voli, and uh, we'll see it here in the near future, guys. Well, hey guys, Adam from Equipped and Door. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedandor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there. Remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Later.